welcome back to my channel so excited that you're here um, today I want to do a video for you on five ways to start your debt-free journey five tips just some things that we have done that I thought might inspire you and help you along the way if you're wanting to get started on your debt-free journey so today I wanted to get started and the first one was know the good the bad and the ugly so I have notes for you guys because um, I feel like they're um, there's a lot of times we're really scared to know those numbers, guys. We're scared to know the numbers of our debt, of our income, of what we're spending, and it's really hard to be accountable to that. But I feel like once we know and can kind of dial in on that, then we can move forward. It's kind of like if you're on a diet and you're just eating all the things, but you don't want to count the calories because you know it's bad. Um, once you know what you're doing and where you're at, it's not so bad. Um, it's a little painful at first doing it, but then it's not so bad. So know the good, the bad, the ugly. Know what you're bringing in income wise. You know, the bad is to, uh, excuse me, I can't talk, slash your spending and get back to a zero dollar budget. And what that means is know where every dollar is going. Know where every dollar coming in has a place and whether it's going to savings whether it's going to debt whether it's going to a sinking fund whether it's going to a bill and really face this i mean it's really necessary to move forward when you know what you have if you don't know what's damaged how can you fix the car i love that saying so it's like taking your car to a car dealership and you're like well it's broken something's not working but how can you fix it if you don't know what's wrong? You need to know what your numbers are. If you're in $70,000 worth of debt, $200,000 worth of debt, whatever debt you're in, know where you're at and know what your income coming is in and know where you're, you should be living and what, what kind of level you should be living at. Because for us, we were living way above our means, way above our means. And so if I could just encourage you on that one thing is, um, is know your numbers, know the good, the bad, and the ugly. So hopefully it's not so bad and not so ugly. The second thing is make a realistic budget. Okay, this might take some ebb and flow. I feel like this took us six months to really get down. Um, it wasn't like we made a budget and we magically took to it. It really wasn't like that. I mean, it was kind of, I mean, we made what we were spending Made, you know, we're accountable to it, and then we tried to do better. Every month we tried to do better. Every month I was thinking, what can we cut down? What can we change? What things can we change to make different this month? And so that kind of helped too. And give yourself grace for about 90 days. I mean, it's tough. It's tough really getting onto something. And it's tough making habits and making those habits stick. So do not give up during this time. You know, just do your best every month. Keep track of every penny coming in and out no own it and even if you mess up just learn from it and say you know what tomorrow's another day you know that doesn't give you like oh i'm gonna go blow it and then tomorrow's a new day but if you genuinely mess up know that tomorrow is a new day and move on you know expect for it to take six to nine months to refine this you know expect expect it to be a challenge because it is it's a lot of work it's a lot of mindset change and mindset change is really hard it doesn't have to be but it can be hard. Um, and then, you know, make it a game. How low can you get your budget every month? Is, you know, is $200 a realistic grocery budget if you have six kids, five kids? No. But, you know, is 3000 a necessary grocery budget? No. You know, what works for you? And what works for you might not work for someone else. So you can't compare to others and feel shamed or feel discouraged because what works for me won't always work for another family. So know what works for you in your realistic budget. Okay, the third one. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> the third one, excuse me, is embrace a frugal lifestyle. Okay, I am not a frugal person by nature. I'm just gonna say it. I am not, I'm a spender and I'm married to a spender. We are both spenders. We both love to spend money. <laughs> we both love to buy what we want, and it's hard and so we really really had to get better this took a lot of effort and every month it took you know it took 
very intentional effort. You know, this is why checking into your finances in the can't talk finances daily is um, this is why checking into your finances daily is super important. Until living a frugal lifestyle becomes second nature, you know, it has to be super dialed in. It has to be very intentional and decide, you know, what is truly a necessary a necessity and what's not. I mean, make it a game. How much can you save? How little can you spend? How small can you get your grocery budget? You know, can you do a pantry challenge? What bills can you cut and negotiate lower? I mean, there was a lot of things we negotiated lower. I mean, I could just do a whole video on that to begin with. You know, I called and negotiated our trash. We were paying like like $150 every three months for trash and I got it down to $51 every three months. Um, let's see, our phone bill, it was 300 a month and I got it down to 194. Um, and that's with a lot of lines on it. You know, there's a lot of things we negotiated down. Our internet, which we have to have high speed internet because I work with a lot of YouTubers. So I upload a lot of video, download a lot of things. I need high speed or else I'm not functional and efficient for my clients. So I negotiated that lower. Um, you know, there's always room for negotiation in a lot of things. And if you ask, sometimes you can just save a lot of money. If you, I feel like if you want another video on that, let me know down below or give a thumbs up because I would love to do a video on just how to cut your budget. I just, oh, I'm so passionate about it. I did share a video on how we say we cut our budget over $3,000 a month. But if you want me to go in deeper on that, I definitely could. You know, find a tribe and plug in. You know, I love the debt-free community over on Facebook and Instagram. I love it. I feel like um, the vibe, the motivation, the accountability. I love following so many amazing people over there, just sharing their lifestyle, their debt-free journey. And there's also groups that you can join. You know, surround yourself with a tribe of people who are like-minded, people who are on the same journey, because there won't always be people in your life that are super on the same journey. But when you kind of fill your mind and your space and your energy with people who are debt conscious, it kind of keeps that momentum going. And I think, um, I think that's really handy for plugging into. And lastly, just start. You know, don't wait until the first. Don't wait until... January 1st. Don't wait until Monday. You know, just start today. Get a notebook and a pen. Get your computer. Make a Google sheet. I'm a big fan of Google Sheets, guys. And I have an example sheet if you guys want to see how we do our budget on it. Um, let me know in the comments if that's something you'd want to see. But, you know, start. Okay, just start. Just make a decision and begin. You know, most days you will do amazing right on. Some days will be so hard and that's okay. You know, it won't always be easy, but you're making a new lifestyle and a new journey that's going to pay off in the end. The peace you will have with a debt-free life will be no peace like you'll ever know if you if you don't try. Because we had so many nights that we would lay awake like thinking, what's it going to be like when we foreclose our house? You know, what's it going to be like when we can't pay certain bills every month? And, um, no one ever needs to live like that. No one ever should live like that. And now we have this piece of, okay, how many more months can we get in our emergency budget? It's a game to us. How much can we not spend now to save for later? Whereas before, we would just go out to eat all the time. We would just spend money. And now we're making more intentional and better decisions. So, just start. You know, you'll always learn a new way, a new lifestyle, but it is so worth it. So that is my five tips on getting started on your debt-free lifestyle. You know, let me know down below some of the things that you recommend, things that have worked for you. If you are new to my channel, I do videos on gastric sleeve, working from home, and how to pay off debt. And I com I'm committed to showing up for you every Monday and Wednesday and Friday and sharing life with you. So I'd love it if you'd subscribe, give a thumbs up, and let me know a little bit about you in the comments. And thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.